Now, the famous Jodrell Bank Observatory is preparing to take centre stage on national television tonight as it plays host to the BBC's Stargazing Live programme. Millions will tune in to see the presenters, Professor Brian Cox and Dara O'Brien, explain the wonders of the night sky. Well, our reporter Peter Marshall joins us now live from Jodrell Bank. We just need those rain clouds to clear, Peter. Yes, normally about 40 people work here receiving radio waves from around the universe, but today a team of around 80 teletypes have moved in to broadcast pictures of the glories of the night sky to watching millions on television. And as you can see, the uh, sky's not really, and the weather's not really playing ball in terms of sky watching, but apparently one of the best places to view the night sky in the northwest is on the Isle of Man. Kelly Foran can explain why. Stargazers meet to admire the night sky in the Isle of Man with around 50 times more stars shimmering than you'd spot in a city. Why we were here, literally just before we saw the space station going over, we've seen some shooting stars. It's, it's just a great hobby and it's a great... And you can't help but marvel at the wonders of the night sky and it's, it's great to do it from a location such as this. The connection with the universe can be lost in towns and cities as light pollution gets in the way, but parts of the island are so rural and remote that the Milky Way galaxy and constellations like Orion can clearly be seen. The island has the largest concentration of dark skies sites in Britain. Even some restaurants turn out the lights early to get the full effect. We don't have motorways. There's no motorway on the island. We don't have big industrial estates. We don't have huge sports centres pumping light into the air. And so when it is dark, it is really dark. And so the night sky here is fantastic. Few experience the full sky at night, but stargazers here believe the Manx countryside is the best place for it. Kelly Foran, BBC Northwest Today. Well, we've come inside the control room now to talk to Dr Tim O'Brien from the observatory. Um, first of all, just how much disruption does this TV operation cause? Well, there's about twice as many people turn up here to do this production as there are work here normally, so in that sense there's some disruption. But actually we make a proper job of uh, building all these studio sets around our control facilities so we can actually um, continue to operate our telescopes while the programme goes on. And presumably the, the publicity that it brings both to the observatory and to the science is welcome. Oh, of course it is. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, there's four million viewers and it's all about trying to encourage people to get out there, get involved in science, particularly younger viewers, actually. Uh, if we can get a few more people thinking about doing science as a career, that would be an amazing achievement. And just briefly, have you been surprised by its popularity? Um, well, I think we were surprised, actually, by how pop, really how popular it was. I mean, astronomy is a great science. You can, you can just get out there and look up, but, yeah, great stuff. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, don't forget, tune in. It's 8 o'clock tonight, BBC Two, Stargazing Live. Uh, hope you can watch it. Bye-bye. Thanks, Peter. If you uh, tune in and look up this afternoon, you're likely to get a raindrop in the eye.